Well, as the Sips mocks the Stewart number nine, on low PSI, I'm going to uh, show you what I think is binding a lot of this. Right in here, this is what I'm pulling out with my uh, dental tool. And uh, it's basically tar now, this oiled packing in the gland nut is tar. And I'm assuming that the guy packed the piston with this stuff too. So, a lot of friction there. I've got my dental tool here, which is a perfect tool for cleaning out m mysterious materials from ages gone by. And if you can see this, I'm gonna to try to get a shot of this here. Watch as I pull this out. See that? I don't know how good that can be for, <laughs> for actual uh, lubrication. But it was sealing, I'm sure. It had high compression. So I'm gonna get all of this out. It's some pretty disgusting string and it's definitely tar now. So, would definitely be causing a lot of the issues with the binding, I think. So once I get all this off and deposit it over here, we're gonna put that in a baggie and package it with this as the original packing. I think this is historical material here. I saved all the other material from the uh, Victorian motor as well. Now, I'm going to try to pull everything out of here. It seems to be quite a deep gland nut, and there's a lot of tar in there now, so I'm going to have to clean that out with alcohol. The piston is a great fit, and uh, it might be also wrapped in that tar thread. So I'm going to definitely have to work on that. Now the trouble with this engine is that you have to take off the steam chest arm here, eccentric arm, and take off this area here, the whole barrel and the steam chest and the linkage for the governor has to come off to be able to get the piston off because I can't unscrew the piston here in this part. I'm not sure if it was ever intended on being unscrewed there.